All right, co-host, we're going to talk real quick about the comebacks now. The comebacks? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it was Wait, really you, good. You I, didn't I, see I that. Rented, yeah, I rented it. I downloaded it. Yeah. What is off, it about? Uh, off uh, hardcoreadults.com. Okay, see, that's it's not with that kind of title, I should have known. No, it's not that kind of comebacks. This is a sports parody movie. What? Uh, yeah, it's not the same thing you saw. Okay, so and and the movie's already out. So yeah. and, and we didn't get to see it, so we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this. We're gonna talk real quick about it. All right, Corey, then talk real quick. Okay, like my dad. Uh, I'm accounting. <laughs> like my dad said, I don't want a whole lot of yip yip out of you. All right, um, jibber jabber would have been a lot funnier, but anyway. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> <No. laughs> um, all right, you. you you seen scary movie? Um, okay, just yeah. say yeah. Just say yeah. You seen scary movie? Yes. And then you got date movie. Yes. And then you got epic movie. Yes. And now they're trying to fool people by calling this movie the comebacks, but I swear that this movie would have been called sports movie. No. Because it's the same thing. I, the only thing is these are other parodies where they have something, something movie in there. Right. These other parodies, they, they've all gotten terrible reviews, and I think people are kind of getting wise to that. Oh, so really? I, I it think took this long? It took like five bad movies. They're like, yeah. Dumbass people. Yeah, but the thing is, is that uh, this movie, uh, I think they were trying to throw people off by not calling it sports movies, so they called it the comebacks. And, <laughs> it, you know, it don't even matter because, I, I mean, I ain't going to waste no time. This movie's some bullshit, man. Is it? I mean, dude, I, I, look, like I said, we didn't have a screening. I took my time to go see this. It took like every ounce of 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 uh restraint for me to sit there and watch this whole movie i'm responsible i don't even want to get up and walk out mm -hmm. but i tell you what if i had i wouldn't have missed shit oh that's not good man look i mean what can i tell you you know if you tell see all, me uh, these movies have like been in decline with every other movie that's come out like scary movie with the sequels they've declined and they had date movies and they had epic movie and all these movies are just quick book movie yeah they've gotten worse and worse man of course they have i challenge anybody over the age of 18 who's smart to come in there and tell me that that's a funny movie i think somebody needs to write a list of all these people that paid tickets to see this crap and then once they come out of the theater, beat the hell out of them, leave them, leave them in a ditch. Well, I believe me, if that was legal, I thought I could get away with it. I would do that. We can do anything we want to until we get caught. Well, I don't. That's the thing. I think we get caught doing it. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not that slick. And you ain't gonna do nothing no way. Oh, uh, I'll I'll headbutt him to death. You'd be the first one to like. If trouble happened, you turn around and run. No, nah, I'd turn around, and run, and try to trip you. So you know, <laughs> nothing happens to me. Hold on. The movie is just juvenile, man. It's just, How it, juvenile is it? It's below you. Let's just say that. No. Look, let me let me say this: is the, I'm not even talking about juvenile and his and his dirty humor and his sex humor. I mean, because there there is plenty of that in there. Mm -hmm. It's just it's trying to poke fun. I was trying to parody and poke fun at all of these other sports movies that have been out there. I mean, movies are years old that people don't even think about anymore. And it's just not clever. Aren't don't those movies eventually become parodies with time? It, it kind of, you know, the movies speak for themselves. I mean, you know, Rocky coming out and fighting when he's like 75 years old, that's a parody in it itself. We don't need to say a movie about that. I mean, they're, they're, Hell just, no, we don't. Didn't they just release that? Yeah, exactly. You know, and that was a great movie, actually. Rocky but, 12? <laughs> but, uh, but no, it's just, there, there's just no smart or clever way that they're putting these jokes out there. They're, they're all very obvious. And look, I, I don't mind that. When I saw a scary movie, the first one, I don't care what anybody says. That movie cracked me up, man. I was laughing. I like I like dirty humor. I like stupid humor. I like the second one better with the penis through the uh, door in the bathroom. See, that's a funny joke. That, 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 that made me that, laugh. That made me laugh. So I got nothing against that. But now these movies, they, the thing is, I don't know, maybe they're, they're PG-13 now. So the, the thing is, maybe they're not going as far as they can. Or, no, where you know, can they go? It's all been done. They've toned it down to be PG-13, so they can't really be as risque as they want to. And the other jokes that are in there, I mean, this is, it's terrible, terrible sketch comedy. This is stuff that writers throw away. I mean, somebody went through a wastebasket and got these jokes. Man, does it make SNL look like, uh, look like the, the coming of Christ? Yes. Yeesh. Yes, it does. <laughs> the sec yeah, the SNL is the second coming of Jesus compared to this. I mean, no, this is, this is, this is bad. I mean, uh, see, the story is is that uh, you, well, fuck it. You don't even know the story. The story is bad. I mean, what am I gonna tell you? It's a bunch I, of, I don't care. Yeah, who cares, man? It's a bunch of bad. Uh, and if you out there, if you care, quit, quit, quit coming to this website. Yeah, exactly. Please, if you if you thought this movie was that great, you don't need to be here. I tell you, I don't want to isolate nobody, but I uh, uh, scare anybody away. But get, you know, get the hell away from me. I will get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, there you have it. Now. 
uh, the, I guess the biggest thing about this movie is that they have this guy David Ketchner, Kochner. I guess somebody's trying to make him a star now. He's been, he's always been uh, a supporting character in all these comedies. Uh, well, these uh, well, let me see. He's been a big supporting character in a bunch of Will Ferrell comedies and uh, some other you know just uh, stupid humor comedy movies like mm. this. And I guess somebody just decided like, oh, he's been in so many dumb comedies that he can, we, he can just be in the dumbest comedy of all. This- I'm sure it's just another check to him. So. Yeah, sure. He's getting paid. What does he yeah. care? But uh, I, I let me just say this. Say I, I will sum it up. I saw this with an audience that kind of looked like they would appreciate something like this, and even they weren't laughing. And mm. I was. I felt not only angry, but I felt embarrassed by this movie. You felt embarrassed? No, did did you feel embarrassed with the people in that theater watching it? It, it? There were people in this movie watching it, and you know, they you could tell they wanted to laugh, but even they had to say, like, damn, no, I can't, this ain't funny. No presents for but, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, nah, man, this, I did not only just feel like I was wasting my time, but I felt embarrassment sitting there i know one even that many people in theater but i really just i had to get up and uh kind of walk around i mean i got up and walked around the walk aisles. around i would have yeah. ran out of there what are you talking about walking around when the and i hey look i swear to you when the credits came up and i i swear to god i'm not lying here man hmm. i got up and i practically did right out the theater because i didn't want to i don't want to have to like look at the face of the person sitting kind of next to me uh-huh. because this movie was so embarrassing to me you like you, you both you both would look each other at each other like you just watched a a male no no not like video. no no not no not nothing like that don't even accuse me of that let's put it like we we you know i, I woke up with an ugly chick or something uh, and didn't, didn't want to look well at her. that's that's pretty normal for you isn't it though true you know <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess, you need to do something about that damn anyway. I, yeah I, don't I, talk I, to me about it though yeah, I, I guess I ain't got the argument for that, huh? But <laughs> I got to stop telling you about these things, man. Yes, you do. But no, nah, so I mean, if you couldn't tell right now, I mean, this movie's some bullshit. If you can't tell, I mean, screw it. God damn it! it Burn this movie. There's a reason they didn't. This is one of those cases where I would be like, yeah, y'all shouldn't have had a screening for this. You don't need to waste any more money. Yeah. How they, come? How come they didn't kick you out of this screening, huh? How come they didn't tell you you can't come in here for this one, huh, I, Corey? I can't huh? go to Tyler Perry, but you know that. It, it, no, he's movie. a genius, apparently. So. No, nah, man, this movie, I, you know, yeah, I, please, yeah, don't you don't need to waste any more money with with these kind of movies. Don't don't drop another penny. Yeah, don't have a screening for it. Don't burn I, it. I feel kind of stupid spending my time going there. You should feel stupid. Yes, amongst other reasons, but yeah, no. So if you if you couldn't tell, yeah, this movie's some old bullshit. You got some smart to say what you want to say. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the original comebacks, and uh, I'll get back to you on that. So. Man, this movie is so bad it makes me want to watch that poem version of comebacks that you have. Oh, yeah, you can't watch it. No, not in the room with me. You don't. Can I borrow? It? You sicko! No, you can't borrow it. I don't know where your hands have been. Nah. Here we'll try another one. Sped okay. up a little bit. Right. Uh, and when I say, you know, you say no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this movie, as a matter of fact, is so bad. I want to. Let me see. This movie, as a matter of fact, is so bad it makes me want to watch that porn version of comebacks you have. Can I can I borrow it? No. As a matter of fact, this version of the comebacks is so bad that it kind of makes me want to watch that porn version of the comebacks you got. Can I can I borrow that? No. I forgot to tack this on. And um, yeah, I mean, look, I there were actually a couple of parts where I did laugh, and I I laughed actually kind of hard. There's one section in this movie where it didn't even feel like this movie. They're doing a parody of uh, Remember the Titans. And uh, I don't know who the actors are. I don't know if the guy they have doing it is some comedian. But uh, it just felt a lot more natural. It actually, it felt like they let people ad-lib instead of trying to put in these stupid parodies and these stupid uh, and these dumb jokes. Oh, so they let people uh, do their job? For a change, yeah, actually, believe it or not. 